Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Today is Super Bowl Sunday and I actually just got done filming a what I eat in a day video from what I ate yesterday. And today I made strombolis for my husband and I. I used the two ingredient dough. We absolutely love these. I've been making these for a couple years now. I have the recipe on my website. I'll share the link down below. But I thought I would take you along and show you a video. I do believe I did a video way back when I first started my channel, but it is definitely time for an update. And I think since then, some of the ingredients changed as well. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy and let's get into this video. It's a journey for life and I'm your light. Hang on. We've been long gone. Hang on. I cannot... We're going to get started with the two ingredient dough for the strombolis. So the two ingredient dough is just an even amount of flour and Greek yogurt, 0% non-fat Greek yogurt. But as you can see, I use only three quarters of a cup of flour in there. And then I mix that with one cup of the Greek yogurt. The reason I do that is that way I have a quarter of a cup of flour that I can use for when I'm kneading the dough and when I'm rolling it out. That way I'm not using too much. So I'm using this Faye yogurt. I swear by this brand it just doesn't come out with that tart flavor like a lot of the greek yogurts do so all i'm doing here is just mixing the yogurt and the flour together until it gets to be like a dough like consistency and then the next step is to just take it out and knead it the best that you can with your hands so here's where i'm sprinkling some of the flour down that way i don't end up with way more than one cup and then it's more calories and more points than you planned on so this makes enough for four but as you can see i'm splitting it into two so i'm going to be making two really big strombolis but just keep in mind that it's this is making enough for four so I've already put together the dough for one of them, saved you from having to watch me do two of them. What you wanna do is the best you can, get them in a rectangular shape. So that way it's gonna be a lot easier to roll, to roll them up. And it might take you some time. So you kinda of sometimes see how I'm having to fold over the sides and re-roll it. So just try to get it as best you can in a rectangle shape. So now I'm just gonna put the two of them in front of me. And as you can see, that one I wasn't quite happy with. So I'm just kind of rolling it out a little bit more. I just fold it over the edges. And then what I usually do is just get like a barbecue brush and I just brush off any of the excess flour that's there. The next thing I'm going to be doing is taking, this is just some minced garlic mixed in with some water. If you have the jarred garlic, you can certainly use the juice from that. And I just brush that all over the dough. It just kind of gives it more of like a garlic flavor to the crust. So now the next thing to do is just shred up your cheese. I'm using six ounces of polio part skim mozzarella. So remember the six ounces is for the four servings. Having a little bit of a difficulty with my shredder there because I don't have it sealed. It has a seal on the bottom that you can stick it to the countertop. And because I have it on the paper, it was kind of moving all around. Next, we want some turkey pepperoni here. I'm using Hormel and I'm gonna put 16 slices on each one. So the full recipe calls for 64 slices, 16 on each one. But again, remember each one of these is two servings. And so for me today, I'm actually gonna save a point because I'm only using a total of 32 pepperoni. So it's only gonna be eight on each serving. And then my husband wants some green peppers on his. And then for me, I'm gonna put some mushrooms and also some black olives on mine. But again, you can put whatever toppings you want. Then I'm gonna just put some basil and oregano over the top. And again, whatever spices you wanna put, you can certainly do that. So now we're gonna get these rolled up. So this is the tricky part. So what you wanna do is just fold in the edges and that way when you roll it up, all that inside doesn't come out of it. So you notice I didn't put sauce on it. If you put sauce on it, it just really wets the dough. So usually what I do is just dip it in the sauce afterwards. So you wanna roll it up the best you can. You wanna roll it tightly, but watch. You don't want it real tight because otherwise when you go to flip it, this is what happens. 
it's kind of ripped there. Now, this didn't go too bad, and that's fine because we're going to be, you want to cut slits in the top of it anyway, so I just kind of counted those as the slits that I was cutting. But you want to be very careful when you're rolling it up that you roll it tight enough to keep it closed, but not too tight that it completely rips the dough. And as you'll see on this one, I do a little bit better. I didn't put it quite as tight as I was rolling it. This one, of course, mine is a little bit bigger than my husband's because I have all those vegetables in there. So then just cut the slits in the top. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just brush it with an egg wash. This is just an egg. I'm taking just a, you know, barbecue brush and just brushing it all around the dough. You want to get it up on the top, also the sides and on the bottom as much as you can. And again, you have to be careful with this because it can start to fall apart. If it does do that, just you can kind of take your fingers and try and push it together the best you can. And then we're going to be adding some bagel seasoning. So if you prefer not to have this on it, you can definitely leave it out, but this to me makes the look of it and it makes the taste of it just gives it that nice saltiness to the dough. So now I'm going to get these in the air fryer basket. So I did have my air fryer preheating. I preheat it for just a couple minutes at 360 degrees. And then I also sprayed the bottom of the basket with some cooking spray. And then I'm going to give the top of them a spray with cooking spray as well. And then these are going in the air fryer for 12 to 15 minutes. And then they're going to rest for about five minutes. And if you don't have an air fryer or you just prefer to bake them in the oven, you could bake them in a 400 degree oven for between 22 and 25 minutes. And then that is what they look like when they're done. So let me know in the comments how many of you have your mouth watering right now. Just looking at these every time makes my mouth water. They are so good. And one thing I forgot to mention when I was rolling them, you can also roll them the long way so that way you can kind of cut them and they're not going to be as thick. So that's another option as well. So now what I'm going to do is just take my sauce. You can use whatever marinara sauce you want. That I'm using Prego Traditional, so I will add points for this. So just take some sauce and put it in a dish to the side. I usually take a little bit of shredded Parmesan, just take some fresh Parmesan and shred it right on top of the stromboli. And then that's what it looks like. It's so good. In a minute here, I'm going to cut into it and show you what it looks like on the inside. So the crust is almost, it's like a crunchy crust. It's more crunchy, obviously, on the top. And I don't flip these in the air fryer. Obviously, we cut the slits so it would kind of ooze everything out. But um, So the top of them is a lot more crispier than the bottom of it. But that's what the inside of mine looks like. Like I said, the toppings, the things that you put inside, that's completely up to you. You can, you know, you don't even have to use turkey pepperoni. You can use chicken. You can make it a veggie stromboli. You can do so many different things with these. Just make sure to plug it into your tracker so that you can figure out what the points and calories are based on the way that you make it. And this one is my husband, so I'll show you the inside of his. So like I said, doesn't have all the vegetables like mine had, but still just as good. So let me know in the comments what your favorite topping is that you would put inside these strombolis. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.